Okay, so Windows 8 storage pools. Storage pools of basically software RAID. Um, so let's jump onto the computer and take a look. So you need to log on to the start menu. And once you're there, you can start typing in storage pools. Um, just straight from the start menu, and it's going um, it's going to bring it up. You're going to have to click on settings first though on your right hand side. And you can either go for manage storage spaces or storage spaces. This is also accessible via the control panel, which pretty much takes you to here anyway. And then you just go to system and security. You're going to need to be an administrator to do this. Um, and you're going to need some unformatted drives. In this case, I've got three. Um, so I'm going to take them all and I'm going to create a pool. Make note that this, this way you can't use your current disk. Once you've created the pool, um, first of all, you're going to have to name the drive because um, it's only going to show as a single space. Uh, I'm just going to call it my first space. And then you go to assign a drive letter. Um, it's really, really easy to use. Okay, so first of all, simple. This is just going to make all of the drives look like one large drive. Um, it doesn't have any resilience, as it says in brackets. Um, then you've got your two way mirror. Um, two way mirror is just um, standard mirror um, software RAID. So you're going to lose a disk. If you have two 10 gig disks, you're going to have um, one gig, uh, 10 gig of data, and you lose the other. Um, a three-way memory needs you to have five drives and protects you from two drive failures. Um, again, you get a larger space. Um, if you have more than five drives, it's probably the best one to use. And priority is software RAID 5. Um, so you need minimum of three disks and you're always going to lose one. So if you've got six disks, you'll lose one still. Um, so because I've got three disks, this is what I'm going to use. Um, you choose one that suits your needs. Um, as I said, you can't use your, your C drive um, disk using it this way. And then you just hit create storage space. Uh, so it's going to format storage space um, and then create storage space. It's really neat utility for people who don't know how to do this other ways or don't want to use hardware RAID um, or set up for computer management, which you can actually see me doing in other videos. So we just wait for that to format. Okay, and you can see at the top right here it's popped up my first space. Um, so just click on that to have a look at the um, the pool. Um, but if like, this other screen on storage spaces, you can see the health of it. So if the disk has died, um, it will let you know there. Um, but in my computer, you can see now um, I've got parity there over the three disks I have. So if one of the disks dies, I've still got data. Thanks for watching.